I had a subscriber ask the question, how do you wire a four-way switch? So I picked one up at the hardware store, and I'll go over the basics on how to wire a four-way switch. And if you have three switches that operate one light, you have a pair of three-way switches, and you have a four-way switch in between those three-way switches. In a four-way switch, the lever itself has no on or off, and you're going to have four screws on the main body and then one green screw. And generally, you're going to have two screws that are light colored and that's coming from one three-way switch and then you have two screws that are dark colored and that's going to the next three-way switch and manufacturers will sometimes just mark it input output or line one and line two but I'll go through the basics on the whiteboard and just show you how a circuit is laid out here's a very simple diagram of how a four-way switch works we have our service panel we have a first three-way switch we have the two travelers that go to the four-way switch and then two travelers to the second three-way switch and up to your light. So the first thing you'd want to do is shut off the electricity to this circuit and remove the cover plate from the four-way switch and then if you can identify either dark colored screws or light colored screws you can mark with masking tape the two wires coming from the first three-way switch and then going on to the next three-way switch. If you can't see it easily, remove the four-way switch and the wires, and once you look inside the electrical box, it should be very easy to see the cable coming from one three-way switch. Now, you may only have two travelers, or you may have two travelers plus a ground. And once you remove this, it's very easy to put in the new four-way switch. Again, each manufacturer is going to be different. Some manufacturers, like I showed here, you're going to have two light colored screws on one side. In this case, we have two dark colored on top and two light colored on the bottom, or the manufacturer is going to mark it some way, whether it's input, output, or line one and line two. But the main thing is we want to grab the wires from one cable coming into the box on one grouping either the light colored or dark colored screws and then the next grouping goes to the cable going to the next three-way switch so this is a very simple way to change a four-way switch and now I'll cover if you re have removed the two three-way switches and the four-way switch and you don't know what wires go where I'll throw show you just a basic way to test the wires if you have a situation where you removed the switches and you don't know which switch to put where there's an easy way to deduce this just by turning the electricity back on. So you need to make sure that none of the wires are touching anything and you've got to turn the electricity back on. We're going to use an electrical tester and we're going to start testing each wire and we're looking for the wire that's hot. And so once we get to a wire that we found is hot, this one, now we know that this is the hot starting the circuit and we know in the first box is going to be a three-way switch. So now we mark this or we can put our three-way switch back so turn the electricity back off and we're going to put in a three-way switch. And in a three-way switch we're going to have one dark screw and two light colored screws. And so in this case we connect our dark colored screw to this first hot wire and we connect these two wires to the two light colored screws. Now we know that we have two travelers that are going to have electricity coming to them. Now we're going to turn the power back on and we're going to now check each one of these wires. We're going to find one, let's say the switch is in the up position, we're going to find one wire that's hot. So we're going to mark this wire, we're going to turn the switch down and we're going to check the other wires and we're going to find this one is hot. So we've marked these two wires and we know that these two wires are the two travelers coming into our four-way switch. And in this case, we'll say that we've connected them to the two dark colored screws. We've shut off our electric. We've connected this to the two dark colored screws. And now the two wires coming out of this box will be connected to the two light colored screws. And those will go to our next box. And you should be able to easily see which cable is coming in with the two wires. If you can't tell, again, we're going to turn back on the electric and we're going to test these three wires. One is going to be hot. We switch the switch to the other position. We'll find another one that's hot and those are going to be connected to the two light colored screws on this final three-way switch 
and then the dark colored screw is going to go up to your light. So that's the basics of connecting two three-way switches to a four-way switch.